What's up everybody blue eyed scumbag here with some moss VR we're gonna Open up the storybook, okay, what's up? Okay, do I need to flip the page when he gets there? Oh your time has come at last, dear Peter. Okay. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. All right. It is tied to another. Am I in a library? And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yes. They called it the Cinder Knight. The Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. Okay. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Hush. All right. First, they killed the king. What? A winged creature broke from no. the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarbog and the armies of the arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. That's kind of cool. The king's guard fought bravely. All right. But the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted. Every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Oh. Even That's the not good. Even the sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Okay. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found I have no body in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the strike champion at the mire's edge. Oh, charge back! They fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that okay. led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. Whoa! A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Oh! Hello? Ah! That I'm in the water! Albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Huh? Hello? What the hell? <gasps> Look at the wheel mouse! Adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing, dusk was creeping in. But she wondered what she might find if she went just hey. a little farther. Oh, that's so cool! What the? <gasps> What's that? Oh, watch out! Hey, you! Get out of here! Aww. It's so cute. Hello. 
<gasps> oh, look out! What the? What is it? Me. She was not exactly sure what she Hi. caused. But she oh, felt no so danger from the beast. Oh, get the way to get the 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 the. Oh shit. That's me. This What the hell? Had to hurry. The village gates would soon close and night would follow. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got to go. Come on. Okay. Page turned. Oh. Oh. Okay. Keep going. Where are you at now? Oh, hello. What's in there? Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Hi. Bring that back over there for you. What's that? Oh! Run all in there! Hello? Where you at? Oh, huh. Hello. Okay. Okay. Hold on under that gate. Okay. There we go. Nice. Go on in. That's so cute. Hey, buddy. Hey, kids. Hey, man, fishing. 
Where are we going? Okay, we need a... Oh! close go ahead and grab that nice Do I need to get over there? Okay. Maybe I gotta... Yeah, maybe I gotta jump. Come on up. There we go. Thanks to her new friend, Bill had saved priceless grains from no! the class. What happened? Let you die, little one. There we go. Whoa. What the hell? She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Okay. Oh, back here. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim. Hey. Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. Will's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? Roared Uncle Argus. Will had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Yeah, it shows. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll Whoa. find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety. 
and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until All right. I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise. All right. She said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Ooh. Here we go. You ready? Ooh. Hey. It's okay. Hey. Hey, look at that. Hey, kid. Kid. Wake up. Hey, kid. Over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. You're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey! Starling, wait! Wait up! Quill had never met a Starling. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, who knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her? I don't know what that stuff does. Oh, there's a little thingy right there. Hill demanded answers. Starting, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Yeah, what do you know? The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Silent giant. What are you doing? Ah! Ooh. What's that? This way, kid. Urge the starting. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Bye. Hello? Oh. Hey, there I am again. Hey, oh yeah. Well, there's no going back now, kid. Yeah.
Hello? Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. There's got to be way over to that thing. Hmm. Hi. Like a battle went on here. Hey, come over here and grab this real quick, little guy. Hey! Okay. starting a short way. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. How'd the boat get back? Did you hear that? The starling seemed anxious. There he is. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. Oh. I got you, buddy. Is that uncle? Oh, no, it's just a statue. Never mind. There you go. Is there a paper somewhere? Probably. There you go. There you go. Nothing over there? Okay. Huh. Whoa, shit.
What the hell? Gotcha. I got you, little guy. Someone who has stolen our champion's power. What? We back in the library? Yep. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there, too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. Well, thanks, man. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Beta thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now... Who? Who the hell is Argus? Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees... Buckled as Veda continued. Uncle, no! He's put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. Mm -hmm. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long. Oh, it's filling up with stuff. That's cool. And then. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Take these. Okay. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle twofold Woo! before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Rootseer, she's minuscule. Come now, the reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with the frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. All right. All right, well, 
that's been uh, that's been quite the trip. We'll pick that up next time. Continue on through that door over there. And uh, until then, this has been. Hold on, let's see. Is there a little paper? Yeah, there is one. Well, let's grab this little paper real quick. Oh! What? Come on. That's a cool little glove you got there. Yeah, cool. Good job. All right. Anyway, this has been the Blue Eyed Scumbag with Scumbag Gaming, and this has been Moss VR. And uh, I will catch you all on the flip flop. <laughs>